way it will, John. What did you learn that can help me now be better, earn more, whatever? Right. Well, I think one of the biggest things is um, the power of the word, the power of the spoken word, the power of actually speaking words and using conscious intent behind those words. This is coming out of the Emerald Tablets. You know, Thoth talks about this. I had to write a book about it because it's too powerful. He talks about the fact that when you use conscious light waves, which are when you every time you every every time you think. Every thought, including the thoughts that people are thinking right now, just to watch this video, is creating a light wave that's leaving from their skull and going out into space time. And that light wave is an electromagnetic wave that's engraved or, or, or I should say piggybacked with data on it. And so that data, every thought that you've ever thought and everyone else's thoughts exists in space time all around us. Just like radio waves coming out from a radio station and propagating through space for all eternity. If you're 10 light years away and you pick up the... Uh, you know, the I Love Lucy from 1960 frequency, you can watch it no matter where you are in the galaxy. And so the same thing is happening with all of our thoughts. So in that case, you know, the book of life is actually real. And so understanding that the spoken word and the light waves that combine together, cymatic frequencies coming out of your throat and conscious light waves combine together to literally create your reality tunnel. So the most important thing I can say for today that we can utilize today is to understand every word you speak, analyze it before you speak it, because you literally have power over, over your life, over space time itself, over multiple realities that exist. So every single person is living in what we call a superposition of potentials. And so these superpositions of potentials in quantum physics mean that any reality that could happen can happen. But according to the ancient Sumerian tablets, you have the ordainers of destiny who are able to analyze all the different probabilities and then pick a specific one that they wanted to align with their reality tunnel. And they, what they would do is they would use vocalization, speaking into existence, conscious thought backed by it to create the reality that they wanted. And then they would put action behind those thoughts and those, and those vocalizations. And so today you'd say, well, what does that have to do with me? Well, if you're trying to obtain something like, um, you know, a new house, a new car, a new job, a new uh, relationship, whatever it is, you have to speak it into existence, put conscious thought behind it, and then take action behind those thoughts to bring it into your reality tunnel and focusing, like, it's like focusing a beam and bringing it into your reality. No matter what it is, whatever you want to be good at, whatever you want to achieve, whatever you want to accomplish, whether it's traveling on trips or taking trips around the world, whatever it is, you speak it into existence and you speak with confidence and power and never, ever, ever speak bad about yourself. I suck. I can't do this. I'm horrible at this. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, all those type of terminology you're literally creating that reality for yourself. And the power, people don't understand the law of attraction works in both ways. Another thing the ancients talked about, the law of attraction works where if you send out positive high frequency information into the universe, you're going to get positive high frequency back. But if you're consistently talking low frequency, begging, pleading, hoping, angry, frustration, uh, you know, doubting and all those low frequency type of things, then that's going to come back to you as well. So you're going to create the reality that you're putting out. So, if you ever call somebody and they're always, every time you talk to them, they got bad news. It's like nonstop. You already know when you see them on the phone, it's going to be another sob story. That person is literally creating this boomerang effect of low frequency information and low frequency realities coming back right into their life on a consistent basis. That's why you got to run away from those kind of people. It's contagious. And so you want to be speaking positive. You want to be speaking, if there's something you can't do, don't say I suck at this or I don't know how to do this. Say, I'm going to figure this out. I need to contact somebody to help me with this. It's all about restructuring how you say things and how you view things. I'm going to become an expert at this. I am going to be great at this. You know, I'm going to excel. And all the, this is just flipping it around. You flip that switch and all of a sudden your reality begins to change. Little by little, the things that you need to come into your life to help you achieve and acquire and be successful start to just manifest right before your eyes. And the next thing you know, you're succeeding, you're excelling, you're doing you know, phenomenal. And that's how I look at everything. Everything that I decide that I want to do, I, I automatically assume I'm going to become an expert at it. I never have any doubt. What There's like zero doubt. There's zero doubt. I don't care what anybody says, what anybody feels, what trolls say on social media, what people tell me, family members tell me. I can, I just ignore them. I have thick skin. I believe I can be an expert. If I, if Michael Jordan contacted me right now and said, would you like to play in a one-on-one, -on -one, knowing that it's Michael Jordan, he can be in his prime. And if I take the challenge, I'm going to, that means I believe I can beat Michael Jordan that day. Now, are the odds against me that I probably will lose? Yes. But if I take the challenge, then I believe in my heart of heart, mind of mind. And when I speak it, yes, 
Now the consciousness go behind that. I believe I can beat him that day. And so it, it, a lot of people out here taking on challenges that they don't believe that they can actually win. And if you're doing that, you lost before you even started. So, you know, this is these are all ancient teachings. This comes from the Egyptian mystery schools. You know, it's ancient stuff. Oh.